Hello guys, Solitary Gamer here, and today I'll be reviewing Mashiro Hero Symphony. This was a good horror anime with a satisfying ending. I was shocked the main character actually confesses love to a girl in this anime. Usually in horror anime series, the main character doesn't confess his love to anyone, and we're left with an unsatisfying ending. This ending alone makes it much better than many horror anime series out there. In this anime, the main character Shingo and his sister are going to an academy that used to be an all-girls school. The school is not allowing guys to join this academy as part of a project. The girls at the academy aren't happy about the idea of guys attending their school, especially one girl named Irie, who tells Shingo that she doesn't like guys and that she will never be his friend. Now it's up to Shingo to change her mind and the girls' minds about guys attending the school. This anime was adapted based on visual novel, so the anime was adapted into several arcs that each was about one girl. Shingo helps out each girl with their issue and then they fall in love with him. It's not anything that unique as we've seen that format before in Canon, Air, Clanad, and Grisaya. This anime was an anime with lots of fan service and nice edgy scenes. Any edgy scenes would be just Shingo grabbing a girl's breast. Nothing special about that. I enjoyed this more for the romantic development and the relaxing slice of life scenes. It was enjoyable seeing a maid want to help Shingo with anything and watching Shingo and the girls taking care of animals. It was really entertaining seeing Shingo learn more about each girl and helping them out with their issues. I found it amazing how I got two Sunari girls that hated him at first into loving him. They weren't just regular Sunari girls. They really hate Shingo at first and treat him so badly. It simply amazed me I kept his cool and not get angry. Those two girls were insulting him every chance they got. It was cool how I showed them how much of a kind person he is to the point where they couldn't help but fall in love with him. Shingo helped him out with class representative work and he helped protect the new Cope club which is dedicated to helping wounded animals. What simply amazed me about this anime was the great romantic development he had with one of the girls in his show. It stunned me how he actually confessed his love to her before the end of the anime series. Now I know there are other anime series where the main character gets a girlfriend right away, but the difference between this anime and those other anime series was that this was a horror anime. So the fact the main character picks a girl is unheard of. Usually the main character in a horror anime series is too indecisive and can't choose. He wants to keep the status quo. Shingle though spent time with each girl and knew which girl he wanted to date. He wasn't afraid of rejection. He wasn't afraid of things getting awkward between him and the girls. He knew what he wanted and went for it. This is how Kolka from Haganai should have acted. You shouldn't run away from love just because things could be awkward. It was amazing that Shingo not only dated the girl he was in love with, but got really intimate with her as well. Now that is what I'd like to see. Seeing intimacy between characters makes it feel like a romantic relationship. I complain so often about generic main characters. Shingo wasn't a generic main character though. He knew what he wanted in terms of love, and he went for it. He is one of the best horror protagonists in anime. The drama in this anime was okay, but for an anime adapted based on a visual novel, I was expecting life and death scenarios, or something horrible happening, like in Grisaya, Kalanad, and Canon. Instead we got drama like a maid feeling uneasy about her job, a girl that won't accept that she's in love with a guy, a girl that doesn't like guys, and seeing an animal going back to his family. The drama involving the animal going back to his family was a little sad, but I expected much more intense drama than that. There was only one scene in this anime that was really emotional to watch, which was seeing Sana realize that she can never be a Shingo. But other than that, there really weren't any scenes that made me feel really emotional. An anime based on visual novel is supposed to make you feel sad and emotional, and this anime just didn't make me feel that way. Also, I couldn't believe Shingo's sister didn't have an arc in this anime. She seemed like an important character. Was she just a side character in the visual novel? In terms of female characters, I thought they were okay. Ivory was really annoying Sundere at first, but then she calms down later on. Sana was annoying Sundere all the way to the end. I didn't like her. Sakano seemed like a funny character that was an airhead, but she barely got any screen time. Anji was the funniest character in the show, as she was really dedicated to being a maid, and it was funny how upset she was in becoming a great maid. She kept wanting to help people all the time. Miu was the best character in the show, she was so kind and had a great smile. I just really like hearing her voice. It had such a loving tone to it. The opening and ending for this anime were okay, but nothing I would watch more than once. The music in this anime was wonderful and really made the sad scenes more emotional to watch. The image style for this anime looked okay. It wasn't that great or bad. The animation looked good in this anime. There were no animation errors I could see. I recommend any horror anime fan to watch this anime. This anime had enjoyable moments of the main character getting each girl to fall in love with him and it was amazing to see him pick one girl. Finally a horror protagonist that isn't indecisive and doesn't run away when he has to choose a girl. I give this anime a 7 out of 10.
I would have given this anime a better score if the drama wasn't so boring to watch at times. So that's all I want to talk about for today. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day and night wherever you are. And please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And please comment if you found anything interesting in the video.